Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Larry, if you're new to the channel. Uh, we are headed up north. It is hot down here. It's 81 degrees Fahrenheit. And, um, you know, make, make fun of me if you will. I know there's a lot of people around the country right now that would, would love 81 degrees, um, but I don't acclimate to the temperatures very well. <laughs> uh, I try, I, I love 70 to 75, somewhere in there. It's 81, a little too hot. Um, I don't have any kind of like summer clothes with me other than t-shirts, but I have jeans and boots. Um, it's, it's probably gonna be time to go ahead and bust those out of storage, but uh, I'm heading up north for a little surprise. It's something uh, I'm pretty excited about. Maybe you guys will be, maybe not. I'm gonna show you right at the end of this video. Uh, it's just gonna be a little behind the scenes stuff that I don't normally show on this kind of channel. Uh, we're actually going to the top of this mountain right here. You can kind of see the road going up the side of the mountain pretty crazy it's right on the edge but uh that's where we're going to go camp up there it should be cooler temps since it's quite a bit higher in elevation of course you got little mason boy over here he's just chilling waiting to get to the location um wearing his seat belt of course <laughs> don't want anything happening to him if we get in an accident look at this Got the saguaros up there on the mountain, these big old huge boulders. Any of them just roll down at any time and just crush a car. Let's just hope that doesn't happen today. <laughs> All right, just turned off the pavement road. Now we're on this road, which is a little tiny dirt road. Um, almost past it, it was so small. So uh, there's a lot of ranches back here. I hope these aren't just like ranch roads. I hope that there are spots to camp and I hope that I can make it back here because this is already looking pretty rugged yeah that's doable I just hope it doesn't get any worse than that the road was a little rough getting in I didn't even videotape it but I uh, just took it slow it wasn't it wasn't too bad just a little rougher than what I like to take the camper on all right uh, I like this spot um, at least from where I'm at, I kind of want to walk around a little bit. So I want to, I'm going to walk Mason and I saw something kind of behind the camper that I want to go and check out. Um, just seems kind of odd for being back here in the middle of kind of nowhere. But I want to thank Ambrosia. I hope I'm saying that right. Ambrosia Donuts. Um, they sent this for Mason. They sent this uh, rough wear padded and reflective harness that he's got on. And then this Tug 360 retractable, like anti tangle leash. And I think it's gonna be perfect for right now. It's not, it's not close enough to evening where there should be any coyotes or anything, but when I'm walking this far away from camp, then um, this is gonna be kind of nice to be able to have him on there. Uh, so you wanna go for a walk, buddy? Yep, okay, let's go. Got a wash here. Or a creek. In Arizona, they just kind of call them washes. I think it's because there's usually no water flowing through it unless there is a bunch of rain. But look at this. Looks like this would be a nice little waterfall if the water was flowing. Some rocks down there. Get some white water rapids going. It's a cool little wash. So this is an odd find for out in the middle of nowhere. There's some holes in it. I assume they're using it for target practice. You can kind of see the camper right there. So I'm guessing they stand up there and shoot down to this. That'd be my guess. He seems to be liking that harness. A lot better than just a collar. I'm gonna go back to the camper bed. All right, back at camp. I think we'll go ahead and get things set up pretty nice right now I actually checked the uh, thermometer and it's exactly 10 degrees cooler so it's 71 degrees um, perfect right now 
<laughs> I got a rug too. Uh, somebody sent this, but they nobody put who it was from. So thank you, whoever sent it. Um, it's perfect, perfect size. So it's five foot by eight foot, which is just perfect for one person and Mason. <laughs> Go ahead, lay down, buddy. I'm sorry. Oops. I'm gonna need to get some rocks on the corners, I think. All right, now you go. Come on, get up there. Let's take a couple of these rocks from the fire pit. There you go, buddy. It won't blow up on you. Check out these massive bundles of firewood. And it's hardwood. I found it at a little hardware store. And they weren't that expensive. I think it was 13 bucks for that. I mean, that's a big bundle of wood. I got two of them. Let's sit up there. Come here. Uh. I'm getting a nice collection of some pretty nice camping stuff. Nice stuff I've ever owned in my life, thanks to you guys. Everybody's sending everything from the, the wish list, and you know, like that, the the harness and the, the leash weren't on the wish list. So if there's something you would want to send and you don't see anything on the wish list, there's the PO box down below as well. You can just send stuff to that. If you feel the need, but you don't have to. Just you guys watching is good enough for me. looking forward to tomorrow um, I'm going home well not home well I'm going to town where like my family's at I don't know I don't know how we want to worry like that but uh, <laughs> I get to go see all my family um, I'm just excited it's been a while I've been out of town working and uh, at the lake and things like that so I feel like it's been forever since I've seen anybody all right gotta get the flag up it's not too windy, so it's perfect. <laughs> you ready for a fire? I am. So uh, I want to thank Adrian for sending this. Um, this is like a serious first aid kit. And uh, it's it's going to be perfect because I'm trying to put together a um, like a tote to put in the back of the geo tracker. So I have this, I have like 72 hours of MREs and I have a tent that I'm gonna put back there and just some safety stuff in case I get stranded out in the middle of the desert or I get injured or something and need to stay out in the desert for a couple of nights until somebody can come and get me. Um, anyways, this is gonna go back there. <laughs> this just makes me feel so much better going off-roading by myself because um, you just never know what's gonna happen. And I hope that flag is not too loud. You guys probably either can hear it, it's really loud, or you can't hear it at all because I have this microphone on. But anyways, thank you so much for this. Uh, it's going to be a lifesaver. Well, hopefully it's not going to save my life. Hopefully I'll never have to open it, but um, but it's there just in case. So appreciate it. Thank you. Boy, I got all sorts of issues with my knives right now. I got, yeah, that's not gonna work. Ah. Gotta start a fire tonight with the fire starters, these things. Um, I have to sharpen my knife. It is so dull that I can't even cut this hardwood with it. Um, which, you know, <laughs> the haters out there are like, man, <laughs> it just cracks me up when, uh, I don't know. People, 
have given me so much junk for the way I make fires. They say that it's it's wrong, uh, whatever, I don't know. Um, I just like doing it the way I do it. And uh, it it lights every time, so I don't see how that's wrong, but but I never get any, any complaints when I f started with fire starters. <laughs> so hopefully it should make everybody happy right now. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. That'll be lit, or that'll be lighting soon, hopefully. And uh, if not, make fun of me in the comments. <laughs> Woo! Thought it was a snake. Just kidding. Uh, uh. Fire's popping over there. All right. Time to fill up the lantern. I feel like it's been forever since I had my lantern out. I'm hearing something. I don't know what it is. It sounds like a, I don't know, something whimpering or something. So I used to use just regular kerosene and it would make it black on this glass like almost instantly. Well, maybe not instantly, but pretty bad, pretty fast. Almost every single night I lit it. Um, so now I use this ultra pure paraffin lamp oil, the clear lamp oil, and it works a lot better. I mean, you can see a little bit of darkness up here, but uh, that's probably from three or four nights of camping which is a lot better than, than uh, after just one night. But the, the cool part is, is that glass comes out and that stuff, you don't even have to touch it. Like if you just run water in there, it just cleans that black soot out. Good as new. Last little bit of light. Just hitting these hills just right, looks nice. There's that, that uh, orange sign that people were using at target practice or whatever. But look at that, 360 degrees. This is Mason boy. Hey bud. What do you think of this place? You like it? <laughs> All right, I'll get some dinner started. I'm going to cook some meat out on the fire. There we go. I'm going to cook some meat out on the fire, but um, the little side dish is going to be in here. Yeah, we're just going to cook up all this bacon. It's going to go in the side dish. If you hear some slurping sounds in the background, that's Mason. <laughs> He's thirsty. Huh, bud? Get this onion cut up here. I don't know if I'm going to use it all in this dish, but I'll cut it all up, save the rest. All right, that's good, I think. Look at that, I got all of it in one scoop. All right, gonna throw some fresh green beans on there. So we're cooking the green beans and the onions inside the, the bacon grease. And then we'll put the bacon in right at the end because the bacon's already cooked pretty much. Heck, I know this sounds weird, but I think I'm gonna put some soy sauce in there. I don't know why. I was looking for seasonings. I don't really have a whole lot. I put a little garlic in there. Oh yeah, that smells right. I think that's gonna be good. Time to crumple up the blanket in there. That's pretty much done. 
Fire's still a little hot to barbecue on, but these sticks are pretty thin. I think it'll be all right. Uh oh. There we go. Get that going. I had, uh, when everything in the grocery store is so expensive, pork steaks, look at that, four fifty seven for two pork steaks. Pork steaks are still cheap. That's so awesome. And it's not like I'm sacrificing taste. I love pork steaks. I mean, I prefer these over a lot of other steaks. Maybe not, maybe not liver, but <laughs> most other steaks. Uh, I'm going to cook up both of these just so the second one is cooked and I'll just save it in the fridge and just microwave it tomorrow or something. Put a little slap your mama on it. In case you haven't seen, that's the seasoning. It's called slap your mama. It's like a spicy Cajun seasoning. I've never put it on uh, pork steaks before, but it's good on everything from, so far from what I've tried. So I figure why not make it a little spicy. Boy, these are going to cook fast. Ah. I'm trying to put it over like the coolest part of the fire. It's really nice out right now. Um, I don't know what the temperature is, but it's definitely not that cold. I mean, it's jacket weather, but by this fire, it's perfect. I, uh, I just posted on the group. I don't know if... Some of you guys don't know, but there's a Facebook group now. Uh, it's just called Work Less, Enjoy Life More. And then in quotations, it says YouTube channel. Um, and I'm on there a lot throughout the week. So I can like, kind of chat back and forth with you guys directly. And I get to see, you know, people are posting stuff about their rigs and just what's going on in their camping related lives. And uh, anyways, uh, I posted on here a picture of where I'm parked because this place is just, it's something else. It is, I never expected to be this nice. Um, not that there's like big waterfalls or um, anything extravagant. It's just, there's, there's just nobody around. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just as out in the middle of nowhere as you can get and uh, it's just beautiful there's no trash i'm getting kind of smoked out there's no trash um just really well taken care of so with that being said i'm not going to tell anybody where it's at because i'm going to come back here and the last time i did that uh, i've yet to be able to go back to that spot because i don't know if it is any what related to what i had mentioned but um <laughs> every single time I've gone back to the spot that used to be my like go-to spot because nobody was ever there it's completely full now all the time I gotta keep a couple secrets <laughs> look it's a dog shadow Woo. cool we're gonna take this back off and get another fire going Well, I'm going to throw some more wood on the fire. That way after dinner, I can come back and enjoy the fire a little bit. You might be noticing this fancy silverware I'm eating off of. It's actually titanium. And uh, this was also sent by Ambrosia Donuts. And it's got a spoon as well. It's just very light and titanium is very sturdy uh rugged it could be put up through a lot of abuse it's got a little carabiner on it so you know you can throw it on your backpacking uh, pack or just camping whatever uh, i thought this was really cool so i appreciate this so much um, i'm sure i will have these probably for the rest of my life <laughs> um, and then also robin from southern california sent oh man i got something on it but sent these gold plates, these like pie pan plates. Um, I have a secret obsession with gold. I love gold. And this is like gold stainless steel. So this is going to um, replace my current old and busted pie pan plates. And I just, I couldn't be happier. Thank you so much. And, uh, and then we got Michelle sent these pepperoni filet mignon bacon flavored like um, dog treats. 
And Mason has plowed through like probably at least a quarter of this bag. He loves these things. Um, I never even knew he loved them because I always just buy them uh, begging strips. But he hasn't even, he stopped eating the begging strips and started eating these. So thank you. He loves these. And on behalf of Mason, thank you very much. And uh, one more thing. This is from Debbie. And this is a garden flag. And it's so cool. She went ahead and like got the logo. Hope you guys can see that. Got the logo for the channel and put it on a garden flag. Um, I just, this is awesome. Thank you for taking the time to do this. Um, I do need to get a, a garden flag. What do you call it? Um, metal pole thing. But uh, this can be so cool. Like set out in front of the campsite. Um, especially if I go to um, campgrounds, which I do. I do have something kind of planned for the near future, which will probably require me going to campgrounds, but I'm not going to tell you guys about it yet. Uh, you just have to stick around and find out. But uh, thank you again <laughs> for this. <sighs> All right, I'm going to finish this up before it gets too cold, and I'll get back with you guys when we're out at the fire. So I had Mason out here, but this, sm this smoke was just coming right at us and he was over here like hacking. So I just took him in. I was hoping he could sit out here while we're chatting, but um, maybe we'll go inside and hang out with him in a little bit. Uh, I, I was out here kind of just reading comments and I'm not gonna say the girl's name or anything, but I read one comment and she said that she uh, just went through like a bad breakup and she um, just bought a scooter and she's doing that, I guess, to save money on gas and insurance so she could save that money up to buy a truck and a camper. Um, she's planning on going to school full time. And she's thinking that the only way she can afford to do it is kind of living this lifestyle, like living cheap so she can afford to go to school full time. Uh, she she's. I guess asked if I could make a video kind of describing my situation, like how I, where I work or what I do and how much I work in order to afford this lifestyle. Um, my situation is not going to be like a lot of others. Um, everybody's situation is going to be different depending on how much money you make. Um, I'm a general contractor and I do commercial remodels is what I do. And, uh, <sighs> Since I don't work for somebody else, I can make a good amount of money in a short amount of time. And then I can coast for several months. And, you know, and then, of course, these videos make me some money. I mean, not a whole lot, but they make me some to kind of keep gas in the tank and stuff. Um, and then that's, that's kind of how I afford it. Now, if you have a job where you're making, let's say, I don't know, less than $30 an hour, it might be kind of hard to, to work like a, a month or so and then to, to break free and just coast for a while. You might actually have to work part-time three days a week or something like that every single week. But um, everybody's situation is different. Like I said, it, it really depends on how much money you spend. I buy a lot of stuff from like thrift stores, mainly because one, I like it. And, and second, because everything's so much cheaper. I mean, most of my clothes come from, um, thrift stores and, uh, a lot of my camping gear, other than the stuff that you guys buy for me comes from thrift stores. I mean, obviously, um, but my, my camper's a cheap pile of junk. It was the cheapest one I found online. And I know a lot of people think I have a ton of money because I have this expensive truck, but I paid it off. Uh, a long time ago and um, when I actually was making good money and then of course I got a little money when I sold my house and stuff so I paid that off I don't have any other bills other than just um, a couple storages and insurance and cell phone bill that's it um, that's how I can afford to coast and go for a while and of course I mean I might stay out in a spot like this for a week maybe longer sometimes and then I don't I'm not in town spending any money whatsoever. Now, if I do go back in between camping trips, it's it's not unlikely to go and spend three, four, five hundred dollars, maybe even a thousand, depending on how long I'm going to be out of town for. Um, so it's it's not 
abnormal to spend a good chunk of money when I am in town, but then it kind of evens out because I go camping and I, I don't spend any money while I'm camping, if that makes sense. Anyways, and you have to um, have all your bills paid off. You can't have a bunch of credit card debt. You can't have a bunch of you know high car payments, things like that. It doesn't sound like this girl has car payments because she's, she's, she's got a scooter and she's saving money. But, um, when it does come time to buy a truck, you know, maybe don't go and be stupid like me and buy a freaking expensive truck. Um, yeah, if I looking back now, hindsight, I wish I just would have bought one that was like five, six years old. I don't think it's everybody's cup of tea to be able to sit out here in the wilderness alone. Um, but I enjoy it, and um, I'm not trying to push it on anybody. Obviously, if you're watching this channel, it's not like I'm trying to just talk you into to living the same lifestyle I am, but because this girl asked, I figured I would say something. Morning, bud. How'd you sleep? Pretty good. <laughs> just looking out the window. See any of them coyotes? <laughs> Good morning. Uh, it's pretty early. Um, sort of. And uh, I'm actually just trying to get things packed up um, so I could head into town and take care of what it is that I need to take care of. But I do want to make a little light breakfast and um, feed Mason and then we'll get on the road. Just got to butter up the pan. I like to do this. Just kind of get the stick and put it in there. Just saves me a, a spoon or a knife from having to wash later. So uh, I find it's just the easiest way to butter up a pan. Anyways, there we go. Then just put that back in the fridge. All right, scrambled eggs it is. I have not been keeping up on the seasoning of this pan. I don't know. I oiled it, but I didn't heat it up like I'm supposed to. Might be time to re-season it again. Steamy eggs. It's a... Uh, <laughs> It's funny how like when you want to do something, it's no problem to wake up early. I mean, I was up at 530 this morning and uh, just jumped out of bed and just been trying to get ready and, and things cleaned up and stuff like that. I'm just, I'm looking forward, well, I'm mostly looking forward to seeing my family, but uh, I'm also looking forward to uh, this thing I'm, I'm doing. I, I just, it's a bummer. I can't tell you yet, but you'll see here shortly. <laughs> Looks so nice out there. Um, kind of looking forward just to being out there. I haven't been up in this part of the state in a little while. And it should be getting warmer. Now we're hitting into spring a little bit. or getting closer to spring. Um, yeah, so yesterday, like I said, when I got here, it was 71 degrees. I mean, that's perfect for me. It was just getting a little too hot down south. I, I don't think I'm going to have a whole lot more videos where I'm camping down in the desert. Um, just because I, I like to go, I'd rather, I'd rather it be on the cooler end than the hotter end. Cause when it's hot, I have to have the generator and I have to have air conditioning running. And I mean, not only for me, like I can, I can sweat and kind of cool down, but I feel sorry for Mason. So I try to not put him through it. Um, I think the hottest usually I'll let it get up there is like 78. And even then he's just not moving. You could tell he's miserable. Um, I mean, not miserable, but you could tell he's just trying to like stay cool by not moving around. Um, and that's just, I don't like that. You know, I mean, I could turn on a fan, but it doesn't help him because he's a dog. He doesn't sweat like, like we do. Um, so that's kind of the, the, the main reason, I guess, why I try to avoid the really hot temperatures. Um, and, and then with the heat, it's so easy to just turn the, the heater on. I don't need a generator to run the heater. I could just run it off the batteries. 
so yeah that's why i like being a little bit cooler than than too hot plus you can put you can put on uh extra layers but there's only so many layers you can take off without getting arrested okay um i think it's time to throw the stuff in the truck and let's get on the road Let's go. This road, I just have to go so slow on it. The spot that I'm actually sitting on right now is like probably the worst. Doesn't, I'm sure, it doesn't look good in the camera. I know it doesn't look that bad, but um, I'll explain to you here in a couple minutes why I'm stressing about this. All right, I'm in town. Where could I be going? <laughs> you just have to wait a couple more seconds and you'll find out. <laughs> Mason boy, where are we at? Huh? Where are we at? We're in the new storage <laughs> slash shop. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what he was saying. Let's check this out. All right, guys, I'm so excited about this. Um, I have already have multiple storages and they're, you know, if, like anybody knows, storages are expensive. So I've decided to just get one big storage that I can park the truck and camper in if I need to and or work on it. And then I should still be able to fit my boat in here and then all my tools and camping gear and stuff like that in here. So uh, I think it's going to be perfect. I'm just going to now have everything all in one place. Uh, this this place is so cool for what it is. I mean, it's a storage, but um, I mean, we got lights. We got a big, huge roll-up door that I have a garage door opener with that I'm obviously able to fit the uh, camper in. I have power. I have 50 amp, 30 amp, and 110, so I can plug stuff in. I can actually plug in the camper, like when it's parked in here for multiple days to keep the batteries charged since everything runs off of solar and obviously I'm not getting any solar in here. Um, this shop is gonna come in really handy because I haven't mentioned this yet, but um, I actually need to tear apart this entire side of the camper. I need to pull all the siding off all the way to the top. I need to reframe anything that's rotted because it's falling apart right here. Um, it's like becoming separated. So when I clamp it down with these fast guns, this wants to sag down. That's why I was so worried about that road being tilty back and forth because this is barely held in there anymore. Um, I also, airplane, <laughs> I also just totally wrecked the awning while I was at the lake. I don't know if you can see this, but um, you see the, you see the siding kind of behind the awning all pulled out. So um, when I had the awning out at the lake, it just caught a huge gust of wind and it just ripped it up, bent everything. So that's completely damaged. I just got to pull that on and off and trash it now. But um, when I pull off all the siding, I want to be able to frame that better so I can put a awning back on there later. Right now that one's just barely held on. There's not a whole lot of framing back there to screw that into. And I was always kind of worried about this happening. I'm surprised it lasted this long, but uh, I'm going to do it up right this time. And at least now I have this shop. I can work in here and get that kind of stuff done. So I'm really stoked about this, guys. Um, 
Mason's over here just <laughs> napping or uh, relaxing over here. But anyways, uh, I really do appreciate all the support, guys. All the Patreons over on the Patreon page. Everybody that's joined the channel um, that helps pay my bills every single month, which includes this, but also includes camper repairs and food and gas and everything else. There's a lot to it. Um, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for everybody that has been ordering stuff from Mason's new fan club merchandise, which is down below in the description. The first link in the description is the merch store. If you go there, there's newly designed stuff for his fan club. Um, maybe we'll have to get a page for that going or something someday, but for now, there's just the fan club merchandise, and it seems to be a hot item. Um, the second I posted it, it has basically been um, being sold more than any other merch that I have ever posted. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. That's all right. You guys are here for him, not me. That's all right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I got to get out of here. I now have to move all my stuff into this storage so I can go back to work on Monday. It's going to be a pretty busy weekend, so I will see you guys next week. Appreciate it for sticking around. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for sticking around. I don't know. Anyways, bye. <laughs>